So let's get started. Mixed media paper and lay it down in your sketchbook just to protect the table around us. We're going to be using our large and small circle templates. You have the option of just jumping in and going straight to the acrylic painters, but I think I'm going to make my circles first using a pencil. So I'm going to start with my large circle template Put it on my black paper and while I'm using one hand to hold the template I'm using the other hand to trace my template and you kind of have to take your arm and swing it around so that you're still putting pressure on your um, circle template um, so that you get a nice circle and we're going to do that three times maybe one time it actually falls off of my paper. Maybe this time it falls off of my paper too. You get to decide how many times and how many different places you're going to trace your circles. We're also going to use our small circle template and I'm purposefully overlapping my circles for more interest. And I'm going to circle, I'm going to trace three times my small circle template. I've decided to use pinks and purples um, for this project. I have a large purple, a large pink, and two small pinks and two small purples so that it'll give a variety of um, sizes, thicknesses um, to the pens, but the pinks and purples will have a nice harmony because in my color wheel, pinks and purples are next to each other. So you can decide to use the same colors or if you use different colors, use two analogous colors. Those are colors that are side by side on the color wheel. So maybe yellows and greens, maybe light or, and dark green, uh, maybe reds and oranges. Your choice, pick two colors and then use two of the thick acrylic markers and various shades in the same color in the thin acrylics. Make sure that the markers are shaken and primed. I'm going to use one of my colors you can choose and really slowly trace over that circle super slow make sure that you move your body or move your paper or move your pen whatever is necessary so that you can see right where the pen lands on the paper you don't want to draw blind. All right, we're gonna give this just a minute to dry. And we're going to repeat the process this time with the big and small circles three times each again using our pink to outline them. Like I said, if you feel brave and you want to, you could go ahead and lay down your circle template. Holding onto your circle template with your primed acrylic marker, then you can just trace it. The good and the bad is that um, it, it can make a really great, nice looking circle and be a little bit of time saver. However, it's also easy to kind of um, accidentally shift 
the circle template and sometimes that can cause problems. So it's up to you, whatever you are most comfortable with. Three big circles. That's two, and this is a pretty big area, so maybe maybe I'll maybe I'll try this. This is kind of interesting. Oh, I love how that did that. Okay, so this was an accident, but it was a happy accident, and I love it, and so I'm going to play off of it. Do you see how I accidentally, not like accidentally, like whoops, it didn't happen, but um, I put a circle inside of a circle and it kind of made this like crescent moon shape. I love how that looks. So I'm going to find a couple other places that I can do that. I'm going to, I see this is my big circle. So I'm going to place my small circle so that it kind of does that, makes that crescent moon in there. And this is another big circle. I made my crescent moon. You guys, this was not a plan, but I kind of love it. And that's enough. It's uh, There's just a little bit of repetition. I love it. Great. Now we're going to start working with our small pens. So we have now a lot of circles and we are going to emphasize those curved shapes by opposing them with straight shapes. So I'm going to find one shape in here that is created by my overlapping circles. And in that shape, I'm going to subdivide it using um, some straight lines. So I broke this single shape into one, two, three, four, five, six, six smaller shapes. And now I'm going to go in and repeat my lines. And I'm just filling in with evenly spaced lines as straight as I can get them in these smaller sections that I've created. Don't forget to prime your acrylic pen from time to time. Especially if it looks like you're running out of paint. And I'm just going to change colors. So I'm working with my pinks and purples. Make sure I have some paint flowing. And pick another space. This is a shape formed by my overlapping circles. So I'm going to, there we go, use my purple. I'm subdividing my shape using straight lines, changing the direction of the lines. And subdividing my shape multiple times. Once I have my single shape subdivided multiple times, and I'm going to come back in here and make my line pattern. And you'll notice that I'm working from my straight lines out to my curves. So this is my straight line. So I'm working from my straight line out to my thick 
curved lines. And I'm alternating the direction of my lines, but keeping them straight and parallel to the first line that I drew. That's it. Great job, guys.